Hello everybody, this is JD. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you about the Bill of Rights in our Constitution. You know, the First Ten Amendments. The Bill of Rights, actually, the First Ten Amendments of our Constitution, when the Constitution was originally written, first let's talk about the history of the Constitution. Our forefathers in the United States of America after the Civil War came up with what was called the Articles of Confederation for approximately the first eight to nine years after the Revolutionary War, not Civil War, Revolutionary War, my mistake. <clears throat> after the Revolutionary War, eight to nine years, the Articles of Confederation was actually governing the bodies of the government. And it wasn't working. So they got together to fix it in Philadelphia, and it didn't work. They could not fix the Articles. So they wrote the Constitution. That's why the Constitution begins with we the people in order to form a more perfect union. They didn't say perfect union, more perfect. Well, when the Constitution was written, it did not have the original Ten Amendments, the Bill of Rights. And there were many of the state delegates who refused to sign it. There was no protection for the individual and the states. None whatsoever. And they weren't going to sign it. I mean, plain and simple, the way the Constitution was written, it began a strong power, even though it has its restrictions. And they didn't want an imperialistic nation that would try to rule the world and stomp all over everybody. So they refused to sign it, and then they got together and they said, okay, we're going to add the Ten Amendments. Now, the amendments will show the precedence on how to add an amendment and what it's for. And if you actually look at the Ten Amendments, they are to protect the individual rights against the government. It doesn't add any power or procedures to the Constitution or changes the procedures. The first Ten Amendments limits the procedures. That's one reason why they argue that the income tax amendment is an illegal amendment because it doesn't meet the precedents. So, our forefathers got together and realized that without these amendments, the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments, the Constitution was too strong and they wanted to restrict it even more. And that's why they had the first ten amendments. First Amendment about free religions, freedom of speech, etc. And the second about bearing arms, militia. The third about our homes being not forced to house military personnel, unless you're in actually the military. And then the so on about individuals' home is their castle. Basically, they cannot go in without warrants. And then also about the speedy trials and the trial by jury and no impossible fines etc unreasonable punishments down to the point of where if it is not stated in the Constitution as such those authorities will go to the state <coughs> why is the Bill of Rights so important besides what they say they set up something they set up and help limit our government by protecting the individual citizens from the government. They realized that a strong central government could within itself grow and grow and grow to a point where it became overpowering, dominating, to where it would one day turn around to the citizens and say, we really don't care what you want you're going to get this. Well, then they said, whoa, we got to stop that. Some of this sounds familiar, doesn't it? And they wrote the Bill of Rights to help us. So that we could say, hey, wait a minute, the Constitution says you can't tell us that way. We have to decide, not you. Now, we got warnings about political parties also from our forefathers, especially George Washington. Political parties are the destruction of our Constitution. They claim things that they are not. Like your Republican Party says, we're constitutionalists. But are they? 
Are they for smaller government when they keep increasing the government? Are they for restricted spending when they keep increasing spending? Are they for you and your rights? Or are they for the Republican Party's ideals and ideas? And then the Democrat Party claims that we're the party of the people. I don't think a single person, my personal opinion is, that any of them ever read the Bill of Rights. And they're not representative of the people. They proved that definitely in the past couple years. How they totally ignore what the people want. How they totally ignore the Bill of Rights. And how they push the Constitution off to the side. Operating beyond its limits. And calling it due process of law. See, our Constitution says that Congress has to add answer to us. But now, the House and the Senate says, no, we don't. We answer only to ourselves. That's your political party system. So, what do I want you all to do? I want you to read the Constitution first. And understand the Bill of Rights wasn't there. Read the whole Constitution without the Bill of Rights. Then understand that our forefathers refused to sign it and make it the law of the land until the Bill of Rights was added. And they shall not be altered, changed, or prohibited from our Constitution at any time. And that I will ensure. We'll discuss each and every one and how they are important to your protection against an imperialistic government that tries to rule the world and stomp on its own people. We will understand what I stand for and why I believe so strongly in our Constitution and how I believe in you and how we together can do what everyone says is impossible. But it will be us together and we will go through each and every amendment of the first ten time with and how important they are to the Constitution and you, the American people. It's not a lesson of the Constitution. It's explaining to you your rights, your privileges, your freedoms, and how our government does not have the authority to restrict those. And how important your voice is to me and should be to our government which it is not I will never tolerate anyone in Congress ever again when I'm in office saying well the people will like it once we do it so we really don't let worry about that the people will like it no the people say what they want and they get what they want it's their government not the Republican Party, not the Democrat Party. It is the people's government. Of the people, by the people. We, the people, in order to form a more perfect union. Thank you. Good night. Have a nice day. Remember, the Bill of Rights were added to the Constitution before the states would accept it. And they're a very important part of the Constitution.